Hello friends, welcome to our channel Ullas Kumar Gukhle for learning. Today we are going to discuss the topic Web Application Architectures Part 1. So basically we will be discussing two layered or two tire architecture today. Let us start with the agenda. First we will discuss the introduction that is we will introduce the web application architecture. Then we will discuss the two layered or two tire architecture. Then we will just look at the request processing by the server part 1 and part 2 and then we will discuss the diagram for two layer or two tire architecture then we will discuss how the system architecture for web application works and working principle of the web application architecture with the help of diagram then we will study the advantages and disadvantages and finally we will conclude the tire architecture. So let us start with the introduction. So web application architecture is a mechanism that determines how application components communicate with each other. So there are various components in the web application. So how they communicate with each other that is very important. So that is determined by the web application architecture. Or in other words if we say the way the client and the server are connected is established by the web application architecture and there are web applications of different sizes and complexity levels and all follow the same architectural principle but the details may be different so here even the layers can be more than two so accordingly we may have three layer or four layer architecture then let us see the two layer or two tire architecture so in two tire architecture it is also called as the client server architecture it uses a web server to provide services to a client and the client is on the first tier we call it as the front end whereas the database server and the web application server reside on the same server machine which is the second tier we call it as the back end the two layer architecture can take different forms within the environment of the web application. So when we are actually going to see the environment here, we will find that architecture can take different forms as per the need. It may use the static web pages or dynamic web pages. So first we will go for the request processing by the server part 1. So here the client sends the request to the server and it processes the request and sends it back with the data. So this is the common way how the client and server mechanism will work. The client request can point directly to a static HTML pages. A client request can point directly to the static HTML pages without requiring any processing logic on the server layer. So here it will not require any processing logic. Directly it can access the HTML pages or it can access a database via the application logic on the web server. So this application logic can be in the form of CGS scripts. So the CGS script will be able to access the database and get the data. Then second is your dynamic HTML pages. So they include script instructions directly in the HTML code. For example, when SSI or uh, server side include is used and they can be interpreted either by databases with HTML functionalities or by a web server. So whatever interpretation is done as per that it will be able to uh, give the data. Then the application logic or dynamic HTML pages can use services. So this is another way of request processing. So here, for example, user identification or data encryption. So these services can be used when the HTML response is generated. So in this way, the request processing by the server will be done. So you can see in the diagram here now, we have the client. And client is connected to the web server and business logic. And this is connected to the database then static HTML pages and the dynamic HTML pages and also it is connected to the services. 
So in this way, all these components in the server side, they will interact with each other and whatever the request sent by the client that will be processed either directly with the help of static HTML pages or with the help of dynamic HTML pages which will access the database for the data part. So in this way the two layered or two tire architecture will work. And let us go to the again uh, into the details of the working. How does system architecture or web application work? So here in practice the system architecture for web application has two parts as already we have seen it is the front end and the back end client is the front end and server is the back end so both will be having the code the code that browser contains and responds to the user input so this codes will be working simultaneously so whatever the user inputs in the browser that will be responded by the browser code and the code that is located on the server and responds to the HTTP request. So that is for getting the particular data. So the front end side creation, it will involve the following languages like we have the CSS, then JavaScript or HTML. So these are the languages which are used for the client side. Then for the server side, so here while entering your registration data into the, a blank, you interact with the front end and when pressing enter to create an account, it's the back end processing. So processing will be done by the back end. So the development flow of the web application defines the task the script fulfills according to the actions required to be done by the code. So the processing will be done by the server end. So to create backend side, developers apply these technologies that is PHP, JavaScript, Java or Python, etc. So these are the technologies which are used at the backend. Then working principles here we have the user. So they are connected on the client side with the help of the browser. So this is uh, the user can see the browser and interact with the browser with the help of HTML, JavaScript or the CSS. So here whatever the website has the interface as per the user interface, the user will interact with the website and uh, do the request for certain data. So when the user requests the browser, that request will be sent to the server side and the server side it will have the web server file system and the database and the request will be processed as per our discussion earlier and the data will be given to the client side and then the user can access that data so in this way this is the basic working principle on the web application architecture then let us go to the next that is advantages and disadvantages. So the advantages for the two tire or two layer architecture is it is easy to maintain and even the modification is also easy because it is not complex and the second advantage is communication is fast because the web server and the web application both are residing database they are residing on the same server. So the communication will be fast. Then if the number of users increase in that case the two tire architecture application performance will be degraded. So it is also cost ineffective because as the number of users increase there is degradation in the performance. So this is the disadvantage. So let us conclude it now. So this architecture is suitable for simple web application and as we have discussed the main problem of the two tire architecture is server cannot respond to multiple requests at the same time. So it will result and cause data integrity issue. So that's why 
multi-layer architecture approach is required for more demanding applications which are accessed by a large number of concurrent clients or which provide complex business processes requiring the access to the KCC. So that's why the, if you are going for a simple web application, then you can go for the two-tier or two-layer architecture. Otherwise, you will have to go for the n tier or n layer architecture, which we will discuss in the next video. So, with this, we come to the end of this video. If you have any questions, you can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, and Instagram. Then, if you like the video, press the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, Plus Kumar Gupta, for learning. Then, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for future videos on this subject so thanks for watching have a nice day